In this video, I explain the differences between a santoku and a chef's knife. You'll learn when to use each one and if you really need both in your kitchen. Let's get started. Prudent Reviews. Hi, I'm Andrew with Prudent Reviews, where we help you find the best products for your home. If you're new to this channel, subscribe for in-depth and unbiased reviews of cookware, kitchen knives, appliances, and more. The santoku and the chef's knife are both all-purpose knives but there are five key differences that you need to know before you decide which one to buy, or if you already have them both, which one to use. Let's get right into it. The first noticeable difference between a Sentoku and a chef's knife is the shape of the blade. Sentokus have a straight edge profile with a well-pronounced downward curved spine. By contrast, the chef's knife has a curved edge that bends gradually from the heel to the tip with the spine following suit. Chef's knives have a more pointed tip than Santoku knives. The curved edge of the chef's knife facilitates a rocking action, also called the rock chop. You can also use an up and down chopping motion, but since the edge of the blade is more curved, a smaller portion of it makes contact with the board. The Santoku is best suited for an up and down chopping or slicing motion. That doesn't mean you can't use a Santoku to rock, it's just more difficult because the edge is straighter. For example, if you're cutting a bell pepper, the curved edge of a chef's knife allows you to cut down and then complete the cut by rocking forward. With a Santoku knife, the straight edge only allows for a one-time downward chopping motion. Santoku knives have thinner blades and are usually sharper than chef's knives. The average Santoku edge is sharpened to a 10 degree angle per side, while the average chef's knife is sharpened to a 15 degree angle per side. The textures and style of blades differ as well. Since Santoku blades are thinner and sharper, there's less of a splitting action and therefore food is more likely to stick to the blade. Because of that, many Santokus have a hollow edge, also called a Granton edge. These small indentations create tiny air pockets, reducing friction and preventing food from sticking to the blade. Some chef's knives have adopted the hollow edge design, but this design is typically associated with Santokus. Both knives come in a variety of sizes and blade lengths. Santoku blades range from 3 to 9 inches, but the most common size is 7 inches. Chef's knife blades range from 4 inches to 14 inches or more, but 6, 8, and 10 inch blades are the most common. With shorter and thinner blades, Santokus are usually lighter and more nimble than chef's knives. So when you're chopping up and down for long periods, your hand and wrist won't fatigue as quickly. However, the lack of heft means you have to use a little more effort to cut through firm ingredients. Chef's knives are heavier, but with the rocking motion, part of the blade is always on the board, so you don't feel the weight as much. Because the Santoku knife has a thinner and sharper blade and straighter edge, it's ideal for more precise cuts. If you're preparing a quick stir fry, sushi, sashimi, salad, or any dish requiring thin slices of meat or finely chopped vegetables, a Santoku knife is the best choice. You can use it for chicken, beef, and more dense proteins, but since the edge is fine, you need to be careful to avoid bones. And since the tip isn't as pointy, I wouldn't recommend using it to break down a whole chicken or turkey or any tasks that require piercing. Chef's knives are better suited for bulkier foods like root vegetables and dense meats because the blade is long, thick, heavy, and the edge is more durable. Because chef's knives have a sharp point, it's easier to pierce ingredients. If you're breaking down a raw butternut squash, head of cabbage, or a whole chicken, you're better off using a chef's knife. Now that you understand the differences between Santokus and chef's knives, the question is, do you need both or is one type of knife enough? The truth is, you don't need a chef's knife and a Santoku. You can do pretty much anything with a Santoku that you can do with a chef's knife and vice versa. My best advice is to think about the cutting motion you use most often. Chef's knives are better for a rocking motion, but if you're more comfortable chopping up and down, go with the Santoku. If you're ready to buy, I'll link to my favorite Santoku and chef's knives in the description of this video. Those are affiliate links, so I will earn a commission if you click those links and buy, but at no extra cost to you. If you found this video helpful, Check out this video where I break down the pros and cons of the chef's knife that raised over a million dollars on Kickstarter and was called the Holy Grail of Knives by Serious Eats. And don't forget to click on this logo to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.